Hey there, Beth Helby with Couture Real Estate. I hope you're doing good today. It is January 14th, and yes, I have to check my watch every single time. I hope uh, you're having a good day today. The uh, bad weather seems to have cleared a little bit, and we've got a little bit more sun out there. So let's talk about foreclosures. Foreclosures. I can't tell of my buyers that I have that are waiting in the wings or that are coming out of you know, the woodwork saying, there's foreclosures coming, let me know when they hit. And they're not going to. Well, they kind of are. This is not gonna be a situation like, you know, what was it, 10, 15 years ago, 2008, 2009, 2010, where there's gonna be a ton of foreclosures. Yes, there are people in forbearance. There are people who took advantage of that forbearance. But if you remember, we talked about this, I wanna say it was back in October, where we said, that a lot of the people who are taking a forbearance are doing a couple things. One is some of them are still paying their mortgage even though they took a forbearance. They're still paying it. And they're doing that as a precaution. Uh, you know, these people are people who, especially at the beginning of all of this, were maybe concerned that their job would be eliminated or they would get put a, a on a leave of absence or furloughed or laid off or something. And so they did that as a caution. So, and then there's people who are taking the, the money that they, they would put towards their mortgage and instead of paying their mortgage, they're putting it into a savings account. I personally have clients and friends who have done that. Okay, here's why we're not gonna see a flood of foreclosures like People are predicting, and, and don't get me wrong, I know what I'm seeing. I'm seeing it on social media, I'm seeing it in the newspapers, I'm seeing it everywhere, that people are screaming from the hills, there's gonna be a ton of foreclosures. You know, no, there's not gonna be. There's gonna be more, don't get me wrong, but we're not gonna see a flood of them. And it's not gonna be one of those things like it was after the crash where you're gonna be able to swoop in and get a sweet deal. Um, part of the reason why is this, the people who are in for Barons, I think, and I'm, excuse me, I'm looking at an article. Uh, the people who are currently in forbearance, what we're seeing according to economic and housing experts is that about a third of them are behind in their payment, which means they haven't made a payment. We don't know of their ability to make that payment. They're behind in that payment. Those are two different things, okay? And about 25%, uh, and a third of those people are about 150 days past due, and about 25% of those people are 180 days or more past due. Now, here's the thing. With these folks in forbearance, the bank is not knocking on their door right now. They're not saying pay up right now. Um, when their program ends, which is going to be different for everybody, because, you know, the program went on for months, and not everybody started at the same time, okay? So we're going to see different times when this wraps up okay the reason that this is different is because a lot of the people who are currently in forbearance which means not that they are necessarily unable to pay their mortgage but they're just not paying it they're taking advantage of the forbearance a lot of those people have equity okay and a lot of those people that still have equity because don't forget more Americans have more equity in their house now than they did back during the housing crisis, okay, by a large degree. So what a lot of these people are going to do, and I'm not talking like they have 50%, 75% equity. I'm talking about enough equity that if they had to get out of their house, they could without having to write a check at the closing table. And then there's everything in between. There's enough people that are in forbearance that if the bank came knocking on the door and said, your no is due, what they would just do is sell. And not even necessarily as a short sale, okay? They would just turn around and sell their property. And they have enough equity in their property that they can sell it without writing a check and sell it on the market and sell it for relatively market price. Uh, Joe says the only thing that will stop it is if the banks go ahead and do for those payments to the end of the mortgage. Uh, I can't read the rest of your thing. Oh, there we go. Uh, mortgage, we're yet to see that into March. Go ahead and do for those payments to the end of the mortgage. Okay, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Are you talking about balloon payments? Um, 
But once the bank notifies the homeowners that their note is due, they will have time to do this. And like Joe was saying, maybe they short sale. But what I'm saying is, is they're gonna be able to get out of their property. And if they get out of their property, they're gonna get out of their property at market value. It's not gonna be a foreclosure, okay? Like I said at the beginning of this, there's gonna be some, but it's not gonna be a flood of foreclosures. The other thing that we're seeing is that, you know, interest rates are ridiculously low. So some of these people that are in forbearance may be able to catch up and refi. They may be able to negotiate with their bank or their lender and work out a payment plan, work out a refi plan. Some of this stuff is still yet to be determined and yet to be done. So, you know, the people that we're seeing that have a current forbearance that aren't paying their mortgage, okay? Not the people who have a forbearance that are paying their mortgage, because there's people like that out there, the ones that aren't paying their mortgage. Not all of those people are gonna lose their house. Some will, don't get me wrong, but not a lot of them, not all of them, because they've got the equity, they did the forbearance as a protection against their job, against the economy, against whatever, they'll be able to sell their house or they're gonna go and try to refi their house or work something out with the bank so that they can get out. A lot of those people will then take those funds and probably just buy something smaller. They're gonna downsize. So, and the reason I'm saying this is because I have people who are waiting to purchase a house because they think that in six months, nine months, 12 months, there's gonna be a flood of foreclosures and they're gonna come in and sweep, and sweep up a sweet deal. And don't get me wrong, you know, back during the housing crisis, there were a lot of really fantastic deals to be had. What I'm telling people is this, there's not gonna be that many. And if you and everybody else is doing this because I'm already getting people coming to me and saying, I'm looking for this, I'm looking for that. I'm already, I mean, I'm working with a bunch of investors right now saying this, they're gonna be hard to come by. So if, if you're doing this because you're hoping to get a deal and maybe you're gonna flip, maybe it's a second home, by all means, go ahead and do it. Uh, I hope you find something, I hope we get lucky and we'll work on it. If you're doing it because it's gonna be your way to move here and you're putting on hold looking now because you're gonna look in nine months or 12 months because you think that you're gonna get a foreclosure, you're probably not gonna get what you want. We have, we're down about 35% in inventory from a couple years ago, and our inventory has been bad, as in low, for several years. So in another year, our inventory is not gonna be that much better, even with additional foreclosures. Our inventory is not gonna be that much better. Now there's some inventory. Now interest rates are hovering between two and two and a quarter, 2.5. And this is a time to do it. In a year, prices are gonna go up because when you have low inventory, this is, you know, remember our, our high school business classes, low demand means high prices, prices are gonna go up. So if you can't buy until next year because of your circumstances, please don't. I'm not trying to push you into something that you're not ready to do. But what I'm saying is, is if your sole purpose of waiting is because you think there's gonna be a flood of foreclosures hitting the market, you're gonna get that fantastic deal, I wouldn't hold my breath because it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna be like it was after the housing crisis. And you're gonna miss out on lower prices because prices are just gonna go up, low interest rates if you're using a loan because interest rates eventually will go up. By the end of next year, it's not gonna be a huge jump uh, by what they're predicting, but it'll be enough. I mean, right now, interest rates are ridiculously bragging rate, bragging interest rates, okay? Everybody's re refinancing right now. So just keep that in mind. Try not to read the alarmist headlines about all the foreclosures coming and about how many people are in forbearance. Pay attention to the numbers in there about how many people are in forbearance and how many of those people are still paying their mortgage. How many of those people have enough equity in their house that are in forbearance that if they had to sell, they could. That's what's important, dig deep into it. I hope you're having a good day. I just wanted to touch on that. What I'll do is I've got a few articles on this. I'll post them in the comments, which will explain a little bit better what I tried to just explain to you. If you have any questions on this, throw it in the comments or send me a DM. I'm happy to send you what information I have. If you have any questions on real estate in general, 
send me a DM or uh, put it in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. I hope you're having a great day. It is uh, cool today. I think the temps was like in 65 or something, but it was beautiful, nice and sunny. So if you have the opportunity to get outside and get some vitamin D, I encourage you to do so. Wear your sunscreen, drink a lot of water, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.